Okay, so let's get to uh, Mary Lou Henner. She's got a uh, a new show coming out, Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. It's actually a prequel uh, to a show you folks have already seen, the Aurora Tea Garden Mysteries. But, of course, again, we all grew up with uh, Mary Lou in that great show, Taxi. She's done like a million shows and movies. And uh, like I said, uh, every guy my age had the hots for Mary Lou Henner. All of us, here she is. Mary Lou, good morning. Good morning. Well, you better still have the hots for me. Nothing's I'm changed. Still you, 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 you still are absolutely so cute. You really are. It's amazing. <laughs> so well, much. Thank you. You're welcome. Are, oh, it's are, so you, like are you uh, in New York this morning or California? No, I'm in California, but, you know, I heard you guys are having the kind of air quality that we usually have. This is you even know, worse. This is, I mean, I know that you're no, joking. I know, like, I know. I know my son lives in Brooklyn, and he's like, oh, mom, he's coming here tomorrow, though. So not because of the, the, uh, the, the, the air, but um, it, it's bad there. It's terrible. You wow. know, you know, the, uh, the worst, last night. We, had a ra- we had a rating, Mary Lou, yesterday of over 480 and they say anything over 300 is, like, really hazardous, like, like can kill you. We had 480 yesterday. See, his son is leaving Brooklyn at the right time. Wow. Yeah, probably. I hope he can. I hope the pilot can see to fly the plane. I heard it was grounded. Things were, were closed. Broadway was shut down a little bit. So Yeah, it was bad. It, it very uh, eerily similar, Mary Lou, to COVID. And when I walked outside the gym yesterday... Uh, the first thing oh. I thought of, yes, I'm in t- tremendous shape. The first thing I thought of was uh, was 9-11. I mean, the smell, the color of the sky. Oh, wow. of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Did you live, you know, you lived in California forever or you lived here at one point? No, no, no. I lived, I've been back and forth all the time because I do a lot of Broadway. My sister lives there, so I always have a place to stay. So I get to New York as often as I can. Oh, and I'm bringing a play to New York. Oh, my God, I'll have to come in and do it in person when I come. I'm going to be there in August to do a play. It's called Mad Women of the West. And right now I'm doing it with Caroline Aaron from Mrs. Maisel. Uh, oh, Joe wow. Beth Williams, of course, from Big Chill Poltergeist. And also... Melanie Mayron from 30-something. Wow! So we're doing this play now, and we're going to bring it to New York, so I'll have to come in person and hang out with you guys. I used to love Thanks. that show, 30-something, too. I loved Melanie. Yeah. That is, that is, that, well, now, she was the one mar- married to Timothy Busfield or the other guy? No, no, no. No, she wasn't married to them. She was, uh, she was uh, Ken Olin's Ken uh, Olin, right. Cousin. Right, right. She was his cousin, and she was dating the, the Gary character. Oh, okay, know. okay. That was a terrific yeah. show, too. So Mary Lou Henner makes her way uh, back and forth between New York and California. So uh, as you're on hold, of course, I was talking. And by the way, if you do any show in New York, you do this show. We're number one by a mile. This is as good as it gets. Don't worry about Stern. That's over. That's old news. I miss his dad. You come here. Um, but talking about the <laughs> classics, we're trying to figure out who had more stars on uh, on their respective show, Cheers or Taxi? No, tax, Taxi. Christopher Lloyd, Danny DeVito, Judd Hirsch, Tony Danza, Carol Kane, me, you know, and then Andy Kaufman and Jeff Conaway. Oof. So, come on. That's that is, pretty good. That is, I mean, did you realize at the time the amount of star power that show had? Well, you know, you you you, you feel so great about the working you know, the people you're working with, the environment, the producers, the writing, and you just feel like it, things are going to go on from here for everybody. You know, and Judd was doing Ordinary People while he was doing Taxi. Wow. And, you know, uh, Jeff had just come off of Grease, and Danny and Chris had come off of uh, uh, Cuckoo's Nest, but then Danny, his forget about it. He's, I do a cameo in his movie this summer, Haunted Mansion, the Disney film. So you're going to get to see both of us, not on screen at the same time, but in the same movie. Oh, I love that. That's okay. great. And he blew up. You're right. He had all the, the oh stuff with uh, Schwarzenegger and all of his other stuff that he did himself and Michael Douglas. And, I yeah. mean, come on. Yeah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But you know what's great about that show, though, Mary Lou, is that I know you mentioned Carol Kane, and I guess she was with on the show with uh, with Andy Kaufman. But you were, the, you were the real female star. I mean, you go back to that show. Oh, and I, I was the only female in it for four years right. and then carol came the fifth season right yeah that's pretty so, cool no trust me i i i you know i i 
figured out what I was going to wear the next day. I you know, was <laughs> always thinking about my what I was going to wear to the set the next day as I would fall asleep. You know, by the way, Mary Lou, not to get political because you live in a state that is every bit as bad as mine. I don't care whether we're a Republican, Democrat. I'm a Republican. That's the way it is. And uh, I can't stand the way the Democrats run these states. But if you try to put Taxi on today because you were the only woman star, you get a lot of you get a lot of knock. You know that, right? Yeah, probably. Right? It's a different time too. It's a different time, right? I mean, we used to we used to have actors and actresses that were great at what they did, like you did, and that was good enough. Now we've got to meet about thirty quarters. That's a whole other story for a different time. But tell me about the uh, the prequel coming up to this uh, great show, Aurora Tea Garden Mystery. Something new is the prequel. I know you've got uh, you've got Scott Samuels in there, Evan Roderick in there, and you. Tell me about this new show. Okay, so we did 18 series of, you know, of our, the original Aurora Tea Garden. This is a prequel. She's just gotten out of college. She's back home living with her mom, the part I play. And you see sort of the early makings of the Aurora detective that she became. Um, and you see how, she, how much she loves crime, solving crimes. So it all starts kind of in her bedroom, the way she mocks up the wall. And later on, you're, if the, people who, the people who know the series are going to love seeing how it all began and all the little Easter eggs that we have put in the show for people to say, oh, my gosh, that's going to show up later. Oh, my God. Oh, there's somebody who <laughs> dies in one of the series, you know, in one of the uh, movies. Yeah. So I think that people will really, the diehard fans, I think, are going to love this because it's the beginning, and they'll get a real sense of where it all started. I always love that. I love when you go back. I, I, uh, to be honest, I don't think David Chase did a great job with it when he did the uh, the Saints of Newark for the Sopranos. But there's so many shows I can think of that I'd really love to see where it all began. So I think just right. the theme for this is great, Mary Lou. Yes, thank you. No, I think people are really going to lo- love it. And, and Skyler's fantastic. And these the, uh, Evan and, and Skyler, who are two of the leads from the regular series, the original series, they really did their homework. So they have a lot of the same mannerisms, and I think awesome. people will feel like it's going to be great. That's coming up, by the way, this Friday, my father's birthday. God rest my father's soul. Harvey, June 9th at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Friday, June 9th at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. Make sure you watch it because we all love Mary Lou Henner. Aurora Tea Garden Mysteries, something new. Oh, somebody just told me, Mary Lou, that if you're going to talk about Taxi, my friend Frankie, Taxi and Cheers, you may want to throw the Mary Tyler Moore show in the mix. Oh, absolutely. Well, it's the same producers. Is that right? Like, well, the, the, the guys from Mary Tyler Moore, they said, okay, now we want to do a series mostly featuring men. So that's how Taxi came about. So it was Jim Brooks, Ed Weinberger, Stan Daniels, and uh, Dave Davis. So they, they, when they finished Mary Tyler Moore, they did Taxi. And then from that, two of their producers, two of our second-tier produce, producers, uh, Les and Glenn Charles, the Charles brothers, they and Jim Brooks did, uh, they and Jim Burroughs, did um, Cheers. Wow. All three shows, the same guys? Yeah. That's unbelievable. Listen, promise me you'll come in in August. I'm dying to meet you. Oh, absolutely. I will be there. All I right, will well, be there. Best of luck on Friday night. You're, you're, you're still beautiful and wonderful, and thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye. Mary Lou Henner right there. Sid Rosenberg here.